Okay, welcome to this very quick guide to using Poster Oven. Um, the website for this is www.posteroven.com. Um, okay, it's really simple to get started, totally free, and there's actually no registration required, so that's an even better bonus. I'm just going to click on Get Started. Now, the first thing it'll ask you to do is choose your template. So click on Choose a Template and scroll through the different options. Now, quite a lot of these are not particularly nice, and hopefully they'll develop those as people start using the site a little bit more. Um, however, I do really like the Orange Stars one, so I'm going to go for that for now. Okay, now I've decided I'd like to share a Poundland Pedagogy resource that I've found. So I'm going to put this at the top. I'm going to share it in the staff room, so text box underneath here. Okay, why not try pay charts in the classroom? Okay, now I've decided for the middle bar, I don't actually want any text in there, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And as you can see, it's gone from over here. And I'd also like to get rid of the advert for poster oven at the bottom. Okay, all right, I'm then going to click on next social. I could click back to go to design if I wanted to change the design of it by now. Okay, so I'm going to click next social. And you've then got all each of these boxes at the bottom. Now, because I've only got one web link to share, I'd actually get rid of the Facebook, the Twitter, and the Foursquare one. And I'm going to change this one from Yelp to web URL. But you can see there that you can create your Google Plus link and an App Store link. Um, so I'm just going to link in to a web URL and take out this one that's there and I'm going to click on the picture that I found so as you can see great revision resource and um, students have linked in sort of the various areas of blooms as they go up and um, adding details as they go so fab resource all right so I'm gonna click in here place it there all right and that's actually done it so I'm gonna click next download Okay, and that's my poster complete. Um, you would click on download PDF and then print it, laminate it, get it up as a poster. Um, you could just print it and pop it up and the QR code could be scanned and the web link is ready to be copied from the bottom of the picture if people don't have um, a QR code scanner, which I found is still the case um, in some classes. Okay. You might decide at this point that you'd like to change anything. If you do, you just have to click on any of the above links um, and change what you want to. So I'm going to go back into social networking and I've decided that I'm going to link to my Twitter account so that people can start following me. It already has the at sign in it, so you don't need to add that again. And just put the username of whoever you'd like to add. Okay, so it's added me. I'm going to go to next download and I'm back to downloading it printing it and using it. Okay, so it's as easy as that. Posteroven.com. Okay, enjoy.